Hey, what's up? Am I right in assuming I spoke to you yesterday? Or have I got this wrong? I think yesterday or the day before. I, I don't... Yeah, I think it was yesterday. Hold on, wait a minute. So would you say that it's ethical to eat a cow than a dog? So has this got relevance to the stage name, which is why aren't you vegan yet? So I'm assuming you yeah, do, you don't think that right. they're ethically, what was that, that they are the same? But, uh, that, no, I was just asking, would it be more ethical to eat a cow than a dog? Um, I don't think so. I can't really see the the relevant difference between, uh, you know, a cow and a, a dog that would mean that one was like worse than the other. The only time I think you could okay. interject it being worse is if say, um, like either the dog or the cow belonged to someone or they had like, you know, belonging is perhaps the, the wrong term, but you know, they looked after them and then there was like a negative utility in like taking their life away from them because they, uh, you know, they had a bond with someone. But apart from that, I couldn't yeah. see how it'd be any different, no. Yeah, I think it'd be... So, would it be wrong? Would it be wrong to what, sorry? No, like... Like, if I killed the cow for food, would that be wrong? Absolutely. And and why do you think it would be wrong? Because the cow is a sentient being um, who has the capacity uh, to okay. suffer and experience well-being. Therefore, you know, it would be morally wrong to take away their individual autonomy and existence from them, just okay. as it would a human or a dog. Yeah. So, so like, you know, so you know, like, how animals, the other animals, right? Yep. But we're animals too, right? Yep. So, so like, is it any different from, is it any different from that? Absolutely. Do you believe that we ought base our behavior on what animals do out in the wild? Like, would you be willing to uh, accept other kind of natural behaviors that are seen out in the wild and perform them? Yeah. You would? I mean, I guess. I mean, try Should... things new, you know. Uh, well, we wouldn't really be trying new things. It would be reverting back to how we behaved. So, like, you know, killing uh, competition over, like, competing mates, killing um, our young if they kind of looked different, like, out in the wild, say, for example, animals will, if they uh, give birth to an animal with albinism, they will kill them, typically, because they look too different from them, so they can't make that bond. Um, on the way, I'm on your I'm on your live stream here, and someone asked a question. It was, how 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 would you feel if the cow killed you? Uh, see, I, I don't know how I would feel. Uh, I think the person's like Peter or something. I just yeah, saw I can, it. I can see them. And uh, I, I I don't know exactly how I would feel. Um, that, that, um other than not too good all right are you all right to yeah, answer anyway. are you right to answer because we, anyway. we're, we're talking so are you right to answer the question that i posed to you about the whole um about like the whole going into the wild thing uh so enact would you be do you think that we or base our morals around the you know naturalistic behaviors that we would do out in the wild so killing young that doesn't look exactly like us um you know killing over uh, mating competition killing over territory you think those things are absolutely fine to do because they happen out in nature like just killing as a whole is fine I mean, I'll see uh, wrong to that, but I mean... You don't see the wrong in any of those things? I mean, like, maybe... Maybe there's, like, killing your, like, young and stuff, but... So why that, but not killing others over co mating competition? Or, you know, killing other Wait, animals? What do you... What do you mean by like competition? Like so, I'm not getting get go here. So out in the wild, basically, uh, you know, competing males typically will fight each other over a female who they are wanting to mate with, and often this will end up in serious injury or even death. So, People do that. Yeah, but is that morally right? You think we or have that as a morally good thing to act out? 
Do you, do you think? I mean, I don't think it's right, but you know, people are people. Okay, all right. So. so, okay, so you don't think that's right. So saying animals eat other animals, right? You don't just think, oh, okay, yeah. we should be behaving as wild animals do. You don't think that because I mean, when I'm posing things that do happen out in the wild that we would naturalistically uh, behave as, you're saying, I don't think that's right. But then you're saying a descriptive claim about, okay, well, that's what people do. Okay, yeah. But is it that the fact that someone does something doesn't tell you whether or not it's right or wrong, does it? Well, no, what I meant in the wild, I was just saying that, you know, since we're another species of animal and that we're eating other animals, I don't really see a big issue with that. So you don't see... So when I pose the other things about, like, killing your own young, about killing, um, you know, mating competition, you said you didn't find them morally wrong, um, morally right. So you said, oh, yeah, I, I think they're morally wrong, correct? Yes. Okay. Why do you find them morally wrong? I don't know. It's just, like, killing your babies. That's just, like, messed up. Which, oh, okay. Um, so I, mean, it, I don't see why they do that, though. Um, it's, so. it's to basically preserve their genetic bloodline. So that that's seemingly the incentive for why they do that. But for, as for the other thing, nobody's killing their own babies. They're killing mating competition. And you said that was morally wrong. Why would that be morally wrong? Well, it's, like, fighting for... You said, like, fighting to, like, mate with, right? Fighting over over oh, yeah, a mate, like so just, uh, like often stupid, harming each other. Or... It's okay. I mean... So if there's two people fighting over a girl, right? That to me, that's just dumb. Why? Stupid. Well, what, Happens yeah, out in I, nature. I, yeah, well, yeah, but like fighting over someone you, you love, it's it's just I don't know. I, I I really don't get that. It's just dumb. I don't get that. Yeah, but that's being dumb isn't anything to do with morality. Why do you think it'd be morally wrong? I'm not asking you whether how intelligent you think the decision is. I'm well, asking no, you. I'm, not, I'm not asking. I'm, it's not, I'm not saying on intelligence. I'm just saying, like, I, I, I just don't get that. Like, it's, okay, but why... To me, it's wrong. Okay, but why? But there's no reason to me. I just see it as wrong. You can't navigate why you would find it wrong for two people to kill each okay, other. Where the, okay, where's this going, actually? Pardon? What did you say? I said, where is this going? So what I'm trying to demonstrate to you is that you don't think that because we do something, because uh, uh, individuals do something out in nature, that suddenly we ought to do it. You're, you're appealing to nature and appealing to how like animals out in the wild eat other animals and then saying, extracting from that, that therefore it should be fine for us to do it. However, when I refer to other things that animals do and say, should we do those things because animals do that and justify it? You're saying, no, I think those things are wrong. I think those things are stupid. So there's a, there's an inconsistency in your argument. Well, no, I said one of those things was stupid. Yeah, but it's still and, inconsistent. And you've, picked you've picked one of those, you've picked one of those, I mean, you you thought one of those things was wrong and you thought the other thing was stupid, but you also said that the one that you thought was stupid was uh, wrong, but you couldn't explain why. Well, yeah. It's, yeah, it's so you, you said both of them were wrong. So what I'm telling you is that there is an inconsistency in your argument, so you're going to need to give another justification for why you're not vegan, because that's a complete inconsistency in your argument. Wait, but that, wait, but that right there was not a reason of why I'm not vegan. Okay, can I... Can Well, the state... Uh, this stage is called why aren't you vegan yet so if we could keep yeah. it to that that would be brilliant um, all right yeah if you could tell me why you aren't vegan yet that would be good that would be good i'm not really vegan because i'm not i just i haven't I mean, i've thought about it but i'm just not i'm not very passionate about going vegan it's not something i'm looking forward to i'm just not very passionate about going vegan i think it's right i'm just not no, I'm not. I'm not there. I'm not saying. I'm not thinking whether I should or not. So, do you think that you need to be passionate about something in order to do the right thing? No. But no. I'm... Okay. So that's the thing. Like, you don't need to be passionate to make that change if you know that it's the right thing to do. You know. So I'd say even if you're not passionate, and you're seeing that it's the right thing to do, and that you know, in other contexts. You see, like, naturally acted out behavior where it's causing harm that you could avoid doing as wrong or stupid. 
um, then you know this also should be something that is is wrong to you for us to do when we can avoid doing so. Okay. So I I really think you should change it up. Anything to say, sexy brown man? Are you with us, sexy brown man? I am. <laughs> what do you think? And be nice, okay? Well, I think the <laughs> I think saying that you're not passionate about it on its own is kind of pretty uh, pretty much a wet noodle response. Like for me personally, when I when I became vegan, I wasn't enthralled with this passion to stop abusing animals it was just i realized it was wrong and i stopped and the passion towards veganism wasn't something that came in until a lot more of me a lot more of me getting into the argumentation and learning and learning more like one you don't have to be passionate in order in order to take on a more a more ethical position in your actions right uh, okay. you were, let's say you were in a society where it was so let, let's take this. Do you think it's okay to kill dogs? Do I think it's okay to kill dogs? Do, do I think that's okay? Yes. Do you think that is a moral no. thing to do? Okay. So let's say you that the society you lived in found eating dogs to be the bee's knees, what everybody did, but you find it wrong. Would you suddenly go, well, I'm just, well, I guess I'm just going to keep eating dogs because I'm not passionate about not eating dogs? Well, if everybody in the world, okay, so if, if I was like the only person that thought that and no one else did i would just have to deal with it that's not what i asked what i asked is is you seeing that it is the, that it is morally incorrect would you still just sit there and do it or would you not do it because you realize it's wrong no i wouldn't do it because of it being wrong so what's the difference between that between that situation and you doing the same towards cows chickens pigs etc I'm not really, uh, wait, hold on. I'm not really, like, abusing animals, though, so I don't, uh. I don't know. If I, I don't know if I necessarily use, the, use that word, or and it, I don't think it's really relevant, because I asked, would you participate in that behavior where you would eat, the, where you would eat dogs when you find that it's morally, and it's morally wrong? And no, I wouldn't. Everyone does. Yeah, you said that you would not, that's what I just said, but... In reality, where you have this, the same situation, where you I, you realize that it is wrong to uh, go to perpetuate the exploitation and death of the animals that we do in reality, you said you wouldn't do it because you're not passionate about it. Are you are you necessarily passionate about people not killing dogs? Wait, what? Okay. You... okay. Like, yeah. do you have, is that is that the difference that you have some passion against not killing dogs that's just present and i would ask why that makes i don't have a passion against that i just think that killing dogs is wrong okay so now we're in a now we see your position in both cases is you have you don't have a particular passion towards not killing dogs for food but you still said you would not participate in that behavior but in the situation of the exploitation of animals that we do in the real world you said because you lack passion there, you don't, you will still do so. I'm confused on what, on why that is. Wait, so, so like, okay, I'm, I'm just not passionate necessarily about going vegan because like, because like going vegan is a choice, right? It's yeah, a choice it's everybody can make. Hang on though. So yeah, uh, can I just I'm ask? Can I just ask? Every action is a choice. Yeah, that I was just gonna really... say, why do why do non vegans say this? Because unless you're like a determinist, <laughs> it's like absolutely the case that everything is a personal choice. So why do you feel that you are reverting well, to saying that? It is though, not wrong. No, 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 no. Yeah, but why are you saying it? Like you're stating the obvious in place of an is. argument. Yeah, it's completely irrelevant. It completely. So, right, Jesfi, hang on, Jesfi. If Jesfi, if someone asked me, so I decided to stab a dog, and they said, "Why did you do that?" And I said, "Well, it's, it's a personal Christ. choice." No, so why are you saying Jesus Christ? Why? Why? Why are you? Why? Why do you always have to? Why do? people just bring dogs into this i i don't get it well it's to show an inconsistency in your out of, values out of anything else you could use you just decided 
to use dogs why not cats i mean yeah we can use i use cats literally like 10 times maybe yesterday i used cats as an example i used dolphins i used orangutans gorillas giraffes like come on this is irrelevant worth acknowledging this obfuscation from the point yeah come on oh yeah he was asking me why i wasn't passionate about going vegan and i was just trying to say that i'm not passionate about making that choice i didn't ask why you weren't passionate i'm asking why you have the inconsistency where you're also not passionate about the about the killing of dogs for food yeah i'm just against the killing of dogs let me finish but you still wouldn't but you said but you also agree that being vegan is the correct position which would mean you agree that it's that it is morally wrong to do the same to the animals that we do in the real in the real world okay. so why so why is it that in one scenario where you find it wrong but you're not passionate about it it doesn't matter you still won't do it but in this other but in this other scenario you say well i'm still not passionate about it but i'm still going to do it like why, why is it that passion matters in this one context but not in the other. No, it doesn't. It doesn't really. I just said I'm yeah, just not it. passionate about making that choice about going vegan. But and that's, like, irre- <laughs> and that's again irrelevant. You don't need passion to make a decision. Yeah. For, for okay. For example, if some if there was some if if you lived in uh, in an older in in, in a, a time further in the past where it was okay to just do atrocious things to other people and that was just the standard. And let's say just somebody got on your nerves, you just beat the shit out of them, right? So, is that is that morally correct? Hello. Yeah. That it's morally correct to just beat people up, or was that responding, making, telling me that you were here? I'm probably just gonna stop. This is that kind of pointless. Um, how is it pointless? Because I think the reason you're saying it's kind of pointless and you're going to stop is because either you're in this position where you have to say, yes, it's morally wrong and be forced into a contradiction, or you're going to say no, and now you're gone. (laughs) They've left. Oh, man. I mean, they did have a moist, critical uh, profile picture, so that should have told me. That's what I thought it was. Yeah. 